So I just got to got to camp. I got my own little spot here under some trees. Tent's pretty wet, um, as you can tell. So I'm trying to. I let. I got my air mattress in there and whatnot. I'm trying to let it air out a bit, but it's clearing up really good. I keep saying that, but it's clearing up. Um, my forecast on my Garmin says it's supposed to be clear tonight um, and the highest chance of rain is 10% and then later uh, this morning like Thursday morning tomorrow morning at like 3 a.m. it's gonna go down to 0% and it says it's supposed to be clear so and that's all day tomorrow too and I'm really excited about that so yeah, today was a good day. Got about 22 miles in, I think. Uh, wasn't a super big day or anything, but it was average. And uh, today was really cool because I saw a moose this morning. That was the first moose I've ever seen out in the wild. And I wish I got better footage of it, but as soon as I took my phone out to get footage of it, it started walking away. And um, then I, yeah, I got it. A little bit on camera I wish I got more but it was like 20 feet away from me it was huge its legs were really long and its body was really big and it had really big antlers it was, it was so cool it was one of the coolest things I've seen on this entire trail uh, I feel really lucky to have seen a moose and and a mountain lion the mountain lion that I saw in California and like, I've seen a few bears and yeah it's been it's been been good. Canada is 44 miles away. 44. I literally have two more days on trail and then I'm gonna be in Canada. I can't, I can't really explain the feeling that I have right now and I don't think I'm gonna fully understand this feeling until after the trail's over and I'm gonna really be able to see and feel everything that this trail has brought me. This trail has brought me so much, and has taught me so much. And I don't think my life is ever gonna be the same after this. I mean, life is never the same, really. Life is always changing. But we, what you do within that change directs where life goes. And I feel like this whole experience of the Pacific Crest Trail is going to direct my life in such a way that it's going to probably blow my mind. Because, <laughs> I mean, everything about life is honestly mind-blowing. I don't know. Who knows? It's just... I feel like the experience of the PCT is just going to echo into my life from from days to come after the PCT from weeks and then months and years after after the PCT it's just gonna be an echo throughout life and yeah I'm excited I'm excited for this chapter I'm a, kind, a little sad that it's coming to an end but I'm also excited because a new chapter is about to begin and it's a mystery and I'm really excited to see what what's gonna happen but two more days uh, yeah until tomorrow good morning it's September 19th and I just packed up camp got ready to head back to trail and it's pretty much all blue sky this morning the sun's shining all the plants and everything are shining with sunlight this is like this is the most sunlight I've seen in over a week since I was in Leavenworth. Oh, it's gonna be a good day, I'm really excited. And literally today and tomorrow are my last days on the PCT for 2019, that is. I will definitely be on the PCT again. I don't know if I'll through hike again, but I will definitely do sections in the future, for sure. No doubt about it. Uh, who knows, maybe I will through hike again. Uh, can't say anything for sure. But, yeah, I feel it's going to be a good day, so let's go.
He's checking me out. <laughs> he just doesn't care. He's like 10 feet away from me. Canadian border, 35 miles. So I'll be making about 26 miles today uh, for my mileage for when I get to camp here soon, uh, about an hour or an hour and a half or so. And I've just been thinking a lot, like, it's just crazy how I've been wanting to do the Pacific Crest Trail for years. It's probably been like th four years maybe. It's been a dream, dream of mine for about four years, I think. And just this last year of uh, 2018 and leading up to April of 2019, I just like uh, kind of obsessed over it and just like made it happen and manifested it into my experience. And it's just crazy how like, Tomorrow is my last day on the PCT for 2019. The last day of my through hike, and it's just a crazy feeling. Like, I have one more day. I will be in Canada tomorrow. When I get to camp, I'm going to have 17 miles to the border. PCT has brought me so much, and I'm so excited to reach Canada, and I'm so excited for what else is in store for me in, in life, in this journey. It's an incredible opportunity to have a chance to be alive and breathing, and the PCT has been just one chapter of it all. And it's gonna branch off into other experiences and other chapters of life. And because all, all experiences and things that happen within life, it's all connected into uh, branch, branches off into other experiences, you know? Like it's, yeah, I'm just, a lot of things are going through my head right now. And I'm really excited. And, yeah, I am very, very grateful, just full of so much gratitude that I had the opportunity to hike the PCT, and I'm going to be in Canada tomorrow. I remember, I remember, I remember when Canada was 
2,000 miles away. And now it's 20 miles away. 